What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's DMZ TV. My name is Dutch. And today I brought back my neighbor from the hellhole. What's up everybody? It's your boy Ken. Now today's episode, we're gonna discuss what's in your base, part two. All right guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about what's in your base part dose. So before we start, I wanna just let you guys know that if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also follow us on Instagram because we're, we're doing some giveaways there. So it's Dutch Masters TV and let's get started bro. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna have like right here, it's just regular water, filtered water we, we put in this base. Now, a little trick that uh, I have is we're gonna thicken the water. Now, how do you thicken water? I have no clue, but we're gonna find out. So, right there, just grab that little container. All right. So, uh, of course, with this, depending on how much you put, so we're gonna end up putting like, like probably a spoon, and you can see this is just powder mm -hmm. right here. So we're gonna put like a spoon in here and uh, we're gonna try it out. And this is actually, go ahead and um, put that in there. Let's put the pre-workout in. Yeah, the pre-workout for your hookah. There you go, mix it up a little bit. So it's actually a clear base, so you uh, you might see it a little bit and then it's, mm -hmm. mix it up a little bit more. There you go, just a little bit. So just by mixing it, as you can see, it's gonna start thickening the water. Now, the more you put, the more thicker it gets. Now, why would you wanna thicken the water? Well, you can thicken the water because you want it more restriction. Mm -hmm. So if you want more restriction on your, on your um, water base, you can put that in there. But another thing I'm using this for is because we're gonna actually use that blue stuff over there. So, yeah, and the glitter. So, and I use that um, mm -hmm. little thing. So basically, you're gonna you're gonna put like two bumps in there. Hey, hey man, my probation officer's watching, man. I'm sorry, I'm just. That's okay. I don't want. Right, listen. So you put that's the first bump, and then you put the second one in there. There you go. I think I think you can throw in one more. Yeah, one because, more. Because one this more. is a pretty big base. One more, cause yeah. Oh yeah, baby. All right. So there let's you know. let's go ahead and stir that around. Mm -hmm. So this is actually gonna give it a nice little blue color. Ooh, look at that blue. There you go. I hope the bloods don't get mad at us for this. I don't think so. Listen, but the Crips, eh? Hey? This guy, I don't know where, where it got him from. But across the street. Across the street, there you go. So now what we're gonna do is, it's nice and blue. All of this is edible stuff, so uh, it's, you know, if you swallow it, it's not gonna okay. harm you in any kind okay. of way. So now we're gonna throw some glitter in there. Mm -hmm. So that'll give it like a little, little sparkle in there. You know, we need some sparkling in our yes. lives now. You need some spark. So let's put two of those in there. And just, you can just grab it and just oh, oh. swish it around. There you go. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Let's thicken the water just a little bit more. So we're gonna use some more of that stuff. And I'll leave the descriptions of all of these products down below. So just one more and that's it, yeah. And then we'll see. So the more you put, like I said, the thicker the water it gets. Now, you know, they actually use this for elder people, like, you know, for them not to choke on, on liquids. Oh, they, they use okay. this, so, you know. I'll be needing it pretty soon. <laughs> this guy's not hey, serious. Look, I mean, there's not enough hair down the world for this. I hear you, bro. All right, Kenny, so we're gonna go ahead and try it on and you let me know what you think. Look. Right, here we go. Let's go. Ooh. Nice. So tell me what, what are you noticing? You know what I'm noticing? Like it's it's it, it really is thicker. It's like a little bit of like a little bit of like a pudding or something. It's, but you can you can tell it. The water is like, like, yeah. And it's, you get, it's just a little bit, yeah. You get a little bit mm -hmm. of restriction when you know, right? So you can make this as thick as you want to, but you don't want to go too thick with this. Hey, I like it thick. Okay, I guess some people <laughs> do like it thick, but anyways, whenever you put in there, just start with one spoon and then you go ahead and you put another spoon and then you, you, you check and of course you have to test it out 
before you start smoking because if it's too thick then it might be too hard for you to inhale so that's just another uh, let me go ahead and try it out okay sure but it matches real nice yes. with the stem huh? i was gonna wear my blue jersey too i should have look at that look at that oh that's nice and yeah. the clouds are thick too they are taken huh? and as you can see the little, little bit of glitters here and there mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's nice. So how about we, we go to the second one? Uh-oh. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. All right, Kenny, mm -hmm. we're gonna do the second one. Mm -hmm. All right, so the second one, as you can see, we already filled it up with a, a couple of these little diamonds. It gives it a little nice little sparkle since if you're using like uh, materials like a stainless steel, mm -hmm. you know, make makes it look more classy, it's silver. So just put in a couple, like a handful of them in there. Yeah, so basically, you know, these little things you can just go ahead and put uh, as much as possible. Just don't, don't go over with the water level. Now we, we're gonna add some other little things in here to keep the hookah nice and cold. Now I only had like five of them, but we actually need more. So Kenny, just be careful when you do this. No, no, actually, let, let me, let let's me, see. Let, let's, let's go ahead and just grab it with yeah, the hand let's first, just grab like this, that. and then we're gonna, so, so this is kind of like tricky. These are actually stainless steel, uh, so that they're all gonna stay cold, and you can actually use them in drinks. Yeah, right? oh yeah. Yeah, so you just drop it in there. Bombs away. Bombs away, and then that's how you're gonna go ahead and do it, so go ahead and just watch out, because um, don't leave it drop real hard, because it's still glass, so. There you go. I think the easiest way is to put tilt it to the side, yeah. tilt it all bit, and then just let it slide in. There you go. And then just keep dropping them in there. These bullets, man. You know who they remind me of? What? Plata o plomo. Plata o plomo. This guy bring an Escobar into the scene. You guys understood what that was? All right. So of course, if if you have more of them. It'll be nice. I only have five of them because I, I thought it would be a little bigger, but it's nice to have like little bullets in there, and of course, you know, it's it keeps it nice and cold. Instead of putting ice, you can use something you know that's yeah, yeah. different. All right, so we got the bowl on top. We got the coals uh, heated up. They're ready to go. You ready to try it out? Yeah, but first, wait. Don't forget. What coals are we using? Uh, La orange. La orange coals. So we're using La orange coals for this, and of course, noob, um, noob tobacco, uh, noob tobacco, noob hookah. Mm -hmm. These are hookahs from Russia. So go ahead and try it out. Okay. Now, Woo! What do you think about the appearance? How I it love looks? it. I love how that looks. So it's kind of cooling down because, of course, the uh, bullets are, are nice and cold. But um, it looks nice, yeah. the appearance of that. Mm -hmm. So if you want to like pimp out your hookah like this, mm -hmm. like in a hookah lounge or even at home, or a party or something, this is another thing that you can do. You can use these things. And uh, like I said, I'll put the, um, in the description what they are and uh, the bullets. So you can get like about 10 of these instead of just getting five. I just got five because I want to try them out to see how they work. But it looks amazing. Oh, yeah. So you ready to do number, number three? Look at you. you, you're enjoying that hookah, huh? Yeah. All right, guys, time for the last one, but we saved the best for the last number three, and we're using Flavor Raid for this. And what you got there? Got Lolly Tip. Lolly Tip. So Lolly Tip actually reached out to us and sent us this amazing new product. It's called Flavor Raid. What it does, it gives you a nice little flavoring in your base, so it actually enhances whatever you're smoking. So um, this is very concentrated, so just watch out. Just don't go ahead and throw the whole bottle in there. Mm. But what you got over there, what flavor? Mm. Let me, let me get deep grape. Deep grape. Yeah, yeah, not just grape, deep grape. Oh, so yeah. That's that deep grape for real. Oh, yeah. Make sure you take off the uh, the safety seal before uh, yeah. you, uh, you know, go like <clears throat> this. So, oh, we got to do a couple drops, right? Well, let's, let's, let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, continue. A little squirts, there you go. One more. There you go, that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and... I think we can do like one more. Yeah. yeah one more little squirt. You're doing a little baby squirt. Wait, 
There you go. All right. Let me see if I can. Ooh. You can still smell it from here. That's real nice. All right. So we're going to go ahead and throw the hookah on top. Uh, what flavor um, lolly tip did you go with? This one is, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't remember? I think it's lemon. I went with the, uh, I still got to try mine. This, this one's called Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze, there mm -hmm. you go. I want a lemon parker, but let's go ahead and put the, the hook on top and we're gonna go ahead and try it out real quick. All right, guys, so we got the coals on top. I think the hook is ready to go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try it this time. Since you had the first time. Okay. So let me go ahead and give it a little try. All right, so while you're smoking, I'll talk about a couple of the flavors they got. They got strawberry mist, watermelon breeze, Green Apple Spritzer, Blue Dream, uh, Deep Grape, which we're you, you, using right now, Taro Milk Tea, Hawaiian Coconut, and Mid Drip. Yeah, so, that's they some, sound real good. That's some good, nice little flavors they have there. Mm -hmm. And um, what, what kind of flavors they got there in the lolly, lolly tips? Fuzzy Peach, Watermelon Glaze, Tutti Fruity, Mystery, uh oh. Blue Dream and Melon Dew. Nice. And the ones we're having, I'm having Mr. Freeze and you're having? Uh, lemon Puck. Lemon Puck, all right. I'm gonna let you try it, but, it, but I can taste the grape. It's, yeah. it's very pungent. Oh yeah, there we go. And, and what I like about these, well, while someone's smoking, they say you're doing a session? Sucking them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It just, it's kind of like we're like doing it as a guy, but I know for a female that, that's Listen, very listen, attractive. listen, we don't shave here. But talk to me, tell me what you, uh, are you tasting a grape? Yes, I am definitely tasting the grape, man. I like this. Ooh. So we, we, we put a little bit in there. We still get that little flavoring of the grape. Um, you can add a little bit more if you want. You can actually mix them up if you like. But as you can see, it gives it a nice little color. Plus it gives it a nice little flavor. So I think that's a plus. Right? Yes, yes. All right. All right, so there you have it, folks. Uh, we went ahead and explained three amazing uh, tricks on putting something in your base. So on the first one, we use the water, the water thickener mm -hmm. with the coloring and the glitter. On the second one, we threw in the little diamonds. So give it a little bling bling. And of course we use the bullets. So the bullets, <laughs> We're still on this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> we use the stainless steel bullets, mm -hmm. and that keeps your your hookah nice and cold. And then the last one, all right, the one with the flavor rate. You know, mm -hmm. it gives it a nice little color, and on top of that, some nice little mm -hmm. flavoring. So, yeah. what do you think overall? I think it's all great. I mean, every you know, somebody were to see this, they're like, oh, what'd you put in that? What's that do? How'd you get it to be that color? And does that change the flavor of it? It's also you know, you go out out. Not out of town, go to a hookah spot, they do that. It's mm -hmm. definitely a conversation starter. It's definitely like something different. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you like this video, do not forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Also, do not forget to hit that little bell on top, like uh, right next to the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified for any new videos that are coming out in the near future. So this is DMZ TV. My name is Dutch. And my name is Kenny. Until the next time, it's DMZ TV and we are what happened to you? I haven't seen you in a minute. Man, bro. I got a story to tell for you. First of all, man. Woo, it's been a minute since I've been here, man. But listen, you ever get a letter from child support? Got child support? Yeah, man, I got hit with a child support case. What? Over a dog. Yo, you gotta tell me this story. What, listen, what happened? listen, I got her a dog, man, That's right? Wrong. Yeah, and you know, things didn't work out, and then bing, bang, boom, I got a letter from a lawyer talking about you gotta take care of this dog, this dog's gotta go to obedience school. What? Why this dog gotta go to obedience school? The dog gonna be like, sieta, that sit. Hey, listen, it's bilingual. What more obedience does this dog need, man? And so then the dog, you know, you know what the dog did? What? It picked up the iPhone cable. That's crazy, I don't have an iPhone. Where'd that iPhone cable come from, man? Well, that's crazy. Bro. Listen, no, no, uh, the crazy thing, right? The dog would not let me eat in peace. Like, no, everyone's saying, yeah, okay, dogs don't do that. Dogs normally do that. But not this one. This dog would get on the table and say, get off my table. I'm eating this thing right now, all right? You eat the little brown, little dry food. You eat the dog for